Hi, my name is Luc Bolduc. I'm the Crosswalk lead developer at Softimage. Crosswalk is our interrupt solution. It allows XSI to nicely connect with other DCC applications like Max and Maya. Part of Crosswalk is the Canada support implementation in XSI, and this is what we'll focus on right now. I'm going to show you how to create a Half-Life 2 character out of multiple Kalada assets coming from many different packages, and after that I will show you how to integrate it in the game itself. What we have here is DAS Studio, 3ds Max and Maya. We're going to export in Kalada assets coming from all those packages. We're going to import them in XSI. After that, we're going to use the Half-Life 2 source SDK to compile our stuff, and we're going to open that and do a little mod in Half-Life 2. So let's open that studio. By the way, thanks to the DAS guys for providing me this nice model that I'm going to open here. Pretty high-res skeleton. Really nice. I'm going to export this in the Colada format. And we'll now open XSI. The XSI Colada support is uh, pretty complete. We uh, support uh, mesh transform, transform animation, uh, morph, morph target, skinning, vertex attributes. So here I'm going to go and crosswalk, import, go to where I did export that, open the skill skeleton, here it is, I'm just going to position it correctly, take this camera out of the hierarchy, use it. in shade mode. Here we go. Our skeleton came through very nicely. Now I'm gonna set up my camera quickly. So fine tuning for my pref personal preference. I like to work with headlights. Here we go. Now we wanna have some more information about this guy. So we're gonna go here and turn on the statistics. So we now can see how many triangles actually build this character. As you can see, we have a 67,000 polygon character here. The Half-Life 2 engine requires character to be of a maximum of 7,000 polygon. So obviously we have to reduce this uh, amount of uh, polygon uh, pretty drastically. What we're gonna use to do that is a nice tool in XSI, the Polygon Reduction tool. There's a, it's a pretty advanced tool uh, that produces really good content. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different options. You can generate uh, multiple LODs for characters using that and everything. Here I'm going to use it in pretty straightforward fashion. Here's my reduced character. 6000 polygon. Since we're going to um, import other assets, to make a total of 7. So here we go, let's go and import other stuff. Open 3ds Max. I'm going to open a Max nati native scene. Here we have a little hat. Okay, I'm not really comfortable in this application, so I'm going to export pretty quickly. There we go. Using the feeding software exporter and go out. Yep. Back in XSI, crosswalk, import. Browse to where I did export that, 3ds Max export. The hat file. Here we go. Our hat is, is here. So I'm going to just take this hat and put it under the same node as the actual skeleton. Delete this. Let's go and get some other 
Ass sitting there. An open mayor. So I'm gonna open a Maya native scene. Sunglasses. Hey, why not? So let's export this using the feeding software exporter. Go back in XSI, file, crosswalk, import, I'll browse for my character my uh, glasses, sorry, import, here they are, just going to, and I have a look at our character, how nice, okay, but that's not everything, let's put this here, now, we have our, all our assets, Let's finish up the preparation of this character for his uh, little uh, visit in the Half-Life 2 world. So what we have to do, since the Half-Life uh, Half -Life character has to be well built as a single mesh, we actually have to merge all this together using the merge tool. It's creating a new mesh here, but one nice thing about the merge in XSI is that it actually includes the Gator capabilities. Gator is the generic attribute transfer operator. And when you, you, you it merge here, it's going to transfer everything that the material, the UVs, the vertex color and everything to the actual destination polygon mesh. So everything is transferred here. And all that is using our operator uh, capabilities. Uh, so everything is live. If you, if you change something here, it's going to reflect on the result. But here I'm done with modifications. So I'm going to freeze this operator. And now I can delete this. And I'm left with one single character, one single mesh. Now, this character is actually built of many different clusters, many different materials and textures and UVs. And, uh, well, to go in Half-Life, we have to have one single texture and one single material. How So, so we, we need to actually bake all this in one single texture. To do this, we'll use the Render Map tool gonna set up this tool so that I have a well fairly correct resolution. I'm gonna create a new texture coordinate for this guy. A unique UV set. I'm gonna actually select the location of this file. I'm gonna send it to the source SDK material source skeleton TG8 yes so it has to be a TGA I don't want to bake the elimination I only want the color and we are ready let's generate the map our map is now generated so let's go back here get rid of all those things all those clusters and polygon and stuff get rid of the texture projection we don't want. Select this, create a new material, and assign our new texture. There we go.